Hello and welcome to Bitrate. My name is Valentina. Yeah, this time I decided to go with the whole three syllable name. With the popularity of Paper Man winning Best Animated Short at this year's Oscars, everyone's going crazy about cartoons. So today's shorts are all animated. If nine of your friends link something on Facebook, you know it's good. And no, I'm not talking about Gangnam Style. I mean, seriously, Psy gets famous? Why not Big Bang or Shiny? Sorry, Korean pop fan, too much. No, I'm talking about Paper Man from a little studio that I like to call Disney. Paper Man is fascinating because it takes the same technology Pixar perfected to make everything 3D and flattens it to make it look hand drawn. This is Disney Animation Channel's biggest hit video and I think I know why. Because things like interactive collision detection between deformable models using chromatic decomposition just doesn't roll off the tongue, if you know what I mean. Remember back in the dinosaur age when animation were made frame by frame? Well, the art still lives, but you probably haven't seen this iteration. Mind Game Studios is the mastermind behind short cinematic commentaries on pop culture using nothing but Legos, like Breaking Bad or Mad Men. Well, first, you must be rich because I can't afford cable. And second, Mind Games got you covered. I asked the creator, Zach, which project he's most proud of, and he pointed to an independent project, Stranger Than Fission. Any relation to the no effect song is purely coincidental. I'm about to bend the rules just slightly on what counts as animation because you really need to know about this. The Tales of Mere Existence is a webcomic, but you see the artist drawing live action through what looks like really thin rice paper with a sharpie. Lev, the guy behind the sarcasm, makes commentaries on life that are just universal enough to appeal to everyone. I'm not sure which is worse, being interrupted or the other thing that happens when I'm walking out with someone and I say, you know, I think it's sort of interesting to think that if a 22-year-old John Lennon were to sing Twist and Shout today, he almost certainly would have been eliminated from Britain's Got Talent. And they say, yeah, see that dog over there? It's a Pekingese. I think you'd enjoy Shut Up, a video about short attention spans and narcissists, because it'll help you communicate in the real world, where no one cares how your weekend was. Right, guys? Look at this. Just watch. This looks real, right? How about this? Well, it's all computer generated by one man from Spain who goes by the name of Alex Roman. He spent a year and a half just doing this, using 3ds Max and V-Ray for rendering, Photoshop for textures, After Effects for compositing and color, and of course, Premiere for editing. He even made the music himself. What? If you liked his imitations of architecture, wait until you see his other video, Silestone, where he imitates falling fruit. It's still beautiful, though. Say you've only got 40 seconds to watch something that's not an ad. Well, then you can watch this trailer for FMX 2013, Europe's largest tech, technology, computers, and animation conference. I promise it's hilarious. Roland Safari, created by the students at Film Academy Baden-Württemberg, has all the essentials of a viral hit, including perfectly rendered animation, no dialogue, and adorable crocodiles. <laughs> this is an important conference, especially in light of the recent VFX protests at the Academy Awards. Have you turned your profile picture into a green square? Now, I'm a fan of bandwagons and jumping on them and all that, but this is important. Check the link below for details. Remember that movie where Jack Black and Moe's Def accidentally erase all of the videos in the video store and have to recreate everything in camera? Now, Be Kind Rewind is a fantasy, right? Wrong, there's actually something like that. LA's Flickr Film Festival, not associated with Flickr the website, has a contest called Attack of the 50 Foot Reels. The challenge, take one roll of eight millimeter film and create a video editing in camera. You get to pick your soundtrack, but you won't know how well it syncs up until the night of the premiere. Nail biting. 
Well, one solution is to do an animated stop motion piece like John Cannizzaro in 50 Feet That Shook the World. This is very Russian, and I would know. Меня зовут Валентина Валентиновна Рабинович. Right? From the soundtrack to the titles, this has a very Ziga Veritov, man with a movie camera kind of film style that you'll probably remember from film school. And if you didn't go to film school, you're welcome. Check out the entire film with director's commentary as well, right here on Cinefix. Thank you so much for watching. I really think that animation shouldn't just be reserved for toddlers and adult swim. It can become a legitimate way of creating mainstream content. I mean, just because of Beowulf, we, we can't lose all hope, can we? Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.